Hello and welcome to our channel of Skills Learning Network. Welcome to our lesson for today. Thank you for watching this video. And, uh, thank you for using your time to watch this channel. If you are the first time, subscribe our channel to, to see more videos to our channels. So you will come to our lesson. Today we have a lesson of Felix and uh, I will show you how to connect a wood circuit connection. The most students facing this challenge of connection. How to connect it to be in a good connection or to make sure your circuit will be connected in order to make your data to be accurate. So today I'm going to tell you how to connect a circuit of current electricity in a good connection. Okay, according to us, our lesson today, a good connection, how to make a good connection or how to make a circuit to be in a good connection. Today I have apparatus, I have a meter, I have a T-meter here, I have the start, and I have a dry cell holder, and I have a standard resistor, I have a switch, and I have connecting wires, also have variable resistor and then another switch you have a plugged switch so this this one can be take you one function or the same function and then i have a dry cell this is one dry cell and this is dry cell or two dry cell make a battery or accumulator that's it you are welcome to our lesson to see how we are going to connect this connection so according to our patterns we have, I want to show you Ohm's law circuit. How to connect the Ohm's law circuit. So without wasting your time, let's go to the connection. We will see how to connect it in which way and then one step or one component to another. In order to be in a good connection first, we have to consider the component with the charge. And let's say it have a charge here positive and negative even amit and voltmeter it has a charge terminal this is a negative this is positive this is positive and this is negative positive and a positive so even this is negative with the spring this is positive without the spring this this means negative would be here when you put in this in this direction so that is how to connect it so it means you want to know how I'm going to connect it in order my circuit to be a correct, to be in correct way. You have to consider this one. And then you rearrange. The first you rearrange your circuit. It means according to our circuit here, we have a diagram, setup of a diagram. We have this one. Amateur, real start, dry cell, and a switch, voltmeter and a standard resistor. So we have to rearrange according to this circuit. So let me go to arrangement. The amit is here, real start is here according to our circuit, and the dry cell we have a switch, and the amit is here up to means to be here, up to here. This is will be this is parallel with the voltmeter. Standard resistor with parallel with the voltmeter. This is how you can connect the circuit to be in good connection. Before passing through the wire, you have to look at this one and this one and this. This and this one and this one. This is negative. This is negative. And this is positive. This is positive. So, a correct way, you have to consider this one. The negative terminal of your, your dry cell should be in your direction with the with your terminal of ammeter or voltmeter. It means the wire from here to the real start and then to this terminal up to here, the direction will be negative. And this one, this is positive. The wire from here up to another component and then it's going to be at this voltmeter will be the positive is going to be at a positive terminal. Don't look this middle terminal. Just look this one and this one and this this one and this. Let's see, you make a comparison. 
this and this one. means the wire from here will be going to this negative and the wire from here is going to connect at it because that is how to connect it in a simple and a correct way of your connection after arrangement that's it. The, the point we, we, we connect the wire or we pass through the wire let's you see how to connect it, my circuit one step one component to one through this one let's we pass through the wire means this dry cell will connect to this to this one connect the inside you can connect the inside of this then another wire can, can pass through and pass through this Let's cross check how I'm connecting my circuit. This one to this one. This one. Yeah. The ammeter, the voltmeter. To, to allocate and to filter the allocate to reverse it. This one to this So this is this is a series connection. This is series connection. So there is one apparatus here is in parallel or one component or standard resistance voltmeter is in parallel. So we connect in this way. In order to connect this one, how to make a junction? We make a junction with this one in order to make it a wire terminal. And this we make a junction. So after connecting this one, you see this is my connection. This is parallel with the voltmeter. This is in other in series. So how to use this one? This real start use one terminal. It means when you connect at this connection at this at this side, and then your sliding contact should be in one side here. So when you connect here, it means it will be this in this side. So that is how to connect the circuit. And this is a common terminal. So we choose one among of this one and then we, we connect. So then we are going to test our, our circuit and then we see if it is correct or is not correct. So according to our, our circuit here, when you connect the switch, when you close the switch, 
you see there is there is a positive deflection positive deflection and when you look to the ammeter you see there is positive deflection for those there is positive deflection so that is how you can connect it Ohm's low circuit in your experiment and to make sure it's correct connection or right circuit connected. Do you see what I have said? This is negative and this is negative, this is positive and this is and this is positive. So this is how to make your connection, connection of your circuit. You can make a substitute of this one. This is standard resistor, this is variable resistor. So you can use this one. if you have with this one, you can use, you can use this one as a substitute. It means you remove this or you allow the resistance of two pass through the, the the circuit in order to find your your data in accurate results. So that is how you connect your circuit Worms low in our lesson for today. I think you have to see. So now we end up here for our lesson. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel. Just ask, give us a comment if you want anything to answer here or to give you through this channel. I think you will give us through a comment. Thank you for learning. My name is Mr. Mabul. I'm dealing with physics, chemistry, and biology. And uh, we'll learn another time, another day.